Hey guys, Amy here with your sweet Valentine's Day swag. So happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Let's go into what's in your swag this month. Okay, so first we've got a So Jelly, which is one of our transparent, and by the way, this is a new color, not even out yet, hot fuchsia or bright fuchsia, whatever. Um, so this is a transparent gel polish and we're going to put this over some chrome and over some decals just to show you some different ways that you can use these So Jellies. So much fun, so easy to use, and so versatile. Next we have our White Magic, which is our one coat white gel polish, which is a lifesaver in the salon, whether you're using it for French manicures or a full cover white nail or even nail art. Painting with it is a dream. And then a chrome crush, which is just some great chrome flakes. And these are just like all of our other chrome flakes, just a different color. These are almost like an iridescent pinky blue. And then we've got our ice patterns. Now, these stickers we are starting to cut ourselves. I am not 100% happy with them just because the paper scratched up a little bit. So towards the end of the video, I'm going to um, have a little something for you guys just to replace any of the decals that did get scratched up or anything that you were not able to use. So it was trial and error trying to make these. Anyway, let's get into some nail art. All right, starting with a nice thin coat of the White Magic. And remember, your magic colors are curing for a full 60 seconds. We don't want to flash cure those. They need to make sure you get a good solid cure so you don't have any issues with uh, durability or anything like that. And after curing, we are going to put a top coat over top of it. Because the first design that we're doing is these little drippies with the um, So Jelly, we want to make sure that the underside is completely cured. Actually, I'm putting a matte top coat on and we will see how it looks with the matte underneath the shine of the So Jelly. So let's go ahead and cure that. So our new So Jelly is a little bit different than what our tinted top coats were. These do leave a slight sticky layer, which is great for chrome or any glitter or anything else, but also this keeps them from getting too thick. And that's what was happening with our tinted top coats. They were just getting a little bit too thick over time and we weren't really happy with how short the shelf life was on them. So that's why we have switched. And now what we're doing is just painting on dots. And this is how we're starting our drips. So from here, what we're going to do is grab a just an art brush, a skinny art brush. You could even do this with the dotting tool and we're just going to connect our lines. I like to pull up instead of go down. I feel like I get a little bit more of that drippy look painting up. Oh Lord, look at my cuticles. Anybody know a nail tech? <laughs> okay, so you can see some darker spots where it's a little heavier, so you can just take that and kind of float it around until you're happy with the coverage. And then we're going to go ahead and cure this. Now, don't let these tinted transparent gels fool you. Because they're kind of clear, you would think that they would cure really well, really fast, but they are a full 60 second cure, especially when you're doing thicker painting like this. So make sure you're getting in there for that full 60 seconds. Okay, and here we are all done. Super easy, super fun. Um, again, after you come out of the light, it's gonna have a slight tacky layer. Not much of a tacky, but just wipe it with alcohol. You don't have to go in and top coat it again. So now we're going to do another design, and again, starting with our White Magic, nice thin coat, and then we're going to cure. All right, so now that that's cured, uh, the White Magic does have a slight tacky layer on it, so we are going to take our chrome flakes, and we are just going to press these right in. 
and I'm just using my finger. Great little tool. And I want to get as much on there as I can just to give it a really good chromey background. I'm not really burnishing because when you burnish your flakes, they'll break apart and kind of smooth out. I want it to look really flaky. So just press those in real good. Quick top coat and cure. So now I've taken a little dollop of the So Jelly and put it on my palette. And we are just going to paint some lips on here. And actually, super easy thing to paint. I tell you guys all the time, I'm not the biggest hand painter. But little designs that don't have to look exact, definitely my forte. So we just do almost like an M, or like it looks like a bird. And then a little V underneath for the bottom of the lip. All right, I just gave it a quick flash cure if you want it to stop moving. And it really, if you can paint fast, it's not going to spread out on you. It's just if you're, if you're a slower painter, you might want to just kind of flash cure each one. Again, a little M and a little V. And we're going to do this throughout the rest of the nail. Okay, and when you're done with this, we are going to give it that full 60 second cure and then lightly wipe off the tacky layer on the lips. And now this one is all done. Another quick, easy design for Valentine's Day. Okay, so now we've put the So Jelly over white backgrounds, and one of the great things about the So Jelly is the transparency of it. So I'm just going to put some clear top coat down, and we're going to do a design with the So Jelly on top so that you can see the transparency of this. Now, we're going to go ahead and cure that, but if you're using your So Jelly over just a regular natural name manicure, you can put it over your base coat. If you're doing it and you want to see like clear tips and you built out maybe a gel extension, so you would just put that top coat over it and then cure. So now we're going to take our decals. Also, your decals are going to stick the best to a no wipe top coat. It's just a really good base that it sticks to. You don't want any stickiness on the base of it because sticky on sticky is bad and your decals are not going to lay flat. They're going to end up popping up. So make sure right when you come out of the lamp from your top or if it has a sticky layer, wipe it really, really good with alcohol or acetone and then press your decals in. And these are great. I mean, they lay flat. We're just trying to get the hang of the cutting of them, but they, once you get it off the sheet, just bend that sheet, pull it off with the tweezer. They lay really flat. They're super sticky, and I love the color of them. So again, we're, we're working it out, but we're gonna take um, a set of the lips also. And again, just bend really good, get those tweezers in there and just peel off. And once you're pressing, I mean, you can see that these lay right on the nail there's hardly any texture to them and that's how they should stick they should stick the very first time if there is any tackiness on that nail and you place it down and it lifts up just take the decal off and start over so now we're going to take our so jelly and go right over top of them and i mean you guys can do this with any um decals you can do this with any um confettis and I mentioned earlier, because I know there were some pieces of the decals where there might have been a scratch or an overcut. And what I'm going to do, I know when your orders come in. So I know that you guys are swag members. And I'm going to throw some extra either decals or maybe some silver heart confetti or something in um, your next order. So that you have more stuff to play with. And you can see on the card, when I did this, I did this with the small, tiny little um, holographic hearts underneath. 
So we weren't sure we we're going to be able to get these decals um, cut and ready and good and usable. So I did this before the decals came. So just to show you guys, you can really do it with anything. So we let that cure. And now this is all ready. And you can see there's really no texture or anything from the decals. They are still laying nice and flat. And we're just going to go over this with a top coat. And honestly, using the top coat over the sew jellies just gives them even more depth and dimension. And you can see we got a nice silhouette. There's no, no texture from that. Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and cure this. And when it comes out, we're going to do a little art on top. Okay, so now this is going to be a great base for a little art on top. And we're going to do some painting with the white magic, which is what I did here. And I used it for a couple of the other designs on here, um, the little drippy hearts, and I also used it for some detailing on some of the other hearts. So the White Magic great, makes a really great paint because it's so pigmented and it just has a nice consistency to it. So I do a lot of painting with the White and the Black Magic. So also, real quick before we do that, here are the three nails we've done so far, and we've got three different bases going on. We've got the white base, the chrome base, and then the clear base, and you can see how different the three of those colors are So and how versatile this So Jelly is. Okay, so to get started, just put a little dollop of white magic on your palette, and then we are just going to take a little art brush and we're going to paint the word love and I can't talk and paint so we're going to do this real quick okay so I just put this in the light and I just hit the top of it so we're just going to let this cure and we're going to see how this comes out. Yep, and here it is. So we'll redo that later. I love when that happens. All right, we're just going to move on. And we're going to start with a new tip. We're going to start fresh. And we're going to start with our white magic and go ahead and cure. All right, so now on top of my messed up nail, we also had some technical difficulties and I didn't realize I wasn't recording. So this one's kind of dubbed over, but basically what I did was took our Sew Jelly and I mixed it with the Chrome Flakes on my palette. So it gave me a really pretty shimmery fuchsia color. Gave it a little bit more opacity, but still you can kind of see through it. And what I did was painted the drippy heart with the mixture that I made on the palette and it because it's a little bit thicker I didn't have to do any flash curing I literally just picked it up off the palette painted kept it nice and thin and then we went ahead cured it and we put top coat over top of it so that was this design that did not get videoed but quick easy and there's all the steps all right, so this is just super speed of me redoing the hand painted love because you know I had to redo that. Seriously, I wish I could do it this fast in the salon. All right, so here's our redone love. Hmm, which one do you like better? I wonder. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to 
touch on this again. I do see the scratches on the top of the decals and not realizing that a lot of those scratches may have cut through. But just again, this was a trial and error for us and we're learning how to cut these. And if you did get a batch that was really bad, you guys know I'm always good for replacing um, or giving you something of equal value for that. So you guys just reach out if there's any issues at all. So happy Valentine's Day, guys, and I hope you all noticed that I did get this holiday swag out a month before the holiday, which hopefully I can do all year long for you. So make sure you tag us in all of your posts. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with with all these fun new products, and we will see you next month. Bye!